what are some of the pros and cons about a Hans Macaw parent who's already showing off? Actually, I think this is one of the best parrots. So stick around and I'll tell you why. Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond, and I cannot get enough about parrots. I'm all about my bliss with my parrots and helping you develop a more blissful bond with your parrot through diet, bonding activities, and understanding them. Because when you have a blissful bond, well, I think that is just one of the best things in life. Better than whatever your best dessert is because the bond with your parrot lasts so much longer. So let's start with the cons. For someone had asked, they're thinking about getting a hands macaw. And they'd asked about the pros and cons of emerald or a hands macaw. Now, some of my species, I have multiples. And so, like, I know, for example, for my parrotlets, I really know parrotlets. With emerald, I'm going to say emerald is this or that because I haven't had another hands macaw. So, my experience is limited to her. And, you know, within parrots, they have personality. And so, it varies. So, I am being joined by Marco, my green cheek conure. You're hearing my peach fronts, and you're seeing my African grays over here. Hi, Zeus. One of Emerald's biggest cons is that during the day, oh, pretty wings, she will go, wah, wah, not all day long, but it is louder, it is more obnoxious, and it can be a little nonstop. Like, she does it in the mornings, and you're like, OMG, what? Ah! <laughs> it does get to be a little much. That's a little problematic. However, uh, that's emerald. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that your hands macaw would be wah, wah all day long, or even for a while. And she does cycle. It gets like more wah wah and then it gets better and then it gets a little more wah wah and then it gets better so it does ebb and flow the next thing sometimes she bites now i'm going to tell you that i do distinguish between a bite from a vampire that draws blood and what i call beaking from a parrot that doesn't draw blood but markle just beaked me it's just like grabbing on Sometimes parrots are helping you get rid of your imperfections. Now, sometimes when I go to pick Emerald up, like I go like this, and especially like at night, if she doesn't want me to pick her up because she doesn't want to go back to bed, oh, pretty wings. Then she'll go like that. It's the beaking in the sense that she's not drawing blood, she's not intending to bite me, but she's making it exceedingly clear that A, she's gonna make me mad, and B, she does not want to go to bed, do not pick me up. Now I get mad because it's like eight o'clock at night. It's dark, it's bedtime. This parrot doesn't know what bedtime is. <gasps> See, she just did it. Why did you just get mad? Because I'm ignoring you? I'm not ignoring you. <gasps> Pretty wings. See what I mean? All right, now I'm gonna give you a little quick ad for myself. If your parrot is having any stress or like any separation anxiety, or if your parrot's doing great, but you want to help support a stronger immune system, you need to get yourself a bottle of Tink's Parrot Relief. Our CBD oil I developed, well, we developed because we were given a green cheek conure. If you're familiar with my channel, you've heard my story, I'm sure. But we were given a green cheek conure who um, had sustained some neurological damage. And she had seizures. If your parrot has seizures, which I was shocked to find out is not like terribly uncommon, there are some species like green cheek conures or African grays that can get seizures. This really reduced Tink's seizures. So it's a fantastic thing. The CBD really helps with things like the seizures. 
It helps support that immune system. And it's in hemp oil, which has the correct balance of omegas. Get your bottle of Tink's Parrot Relief on parrotbliss.com today. All right, back to Emerald. Um, I've given you two cons, and honestly, I didn't write the third one down. Hey, Marco. Um, so I'm going to have to see if I can come back to it. Now, the pros. Why do I think that this is a good parrot? Now, like any other parrot, especially a bigger parrot, you do need to be able to dedicate a fair amount of time to a hands macaw. What I like about Emerald is she is certainly intelligent. Uh, she, you've seen, you've seen her interact with me just in this video. She told me that I wasn't paying attention to her. She's trying to get my attention. She's showing off her pretty wings. She's smart, she's been trained well, she was um, basically surrendered to us, so I didn't teach her these tricks, but man, she's good at them. Who's a pretty bird? Did you hear that? That was Emerald. Wow. How did you guys get out? My uh, green cheeks are out so that they can get some fresh air and sunshine, and they made it out of the cage. All righty then. So, Emerald is just highly intelligent, and the thing about a parrot is that they're not a pet, they are a companion, in the sense that a pet could be a goldfish that you never touch, you never talk to, doesn't talk to you, doesn't come to you, doesn't interact with you, and can't offer an emotional connection, more of a real, um, more of an intimate connection. A parrot can really offer that to you. And when you have a parrot that I'm gonna say is able to more outwardly express, which that is one thing that some larger parrots can do, then you're gonna get some of that bond and some of that connection. Are you nervous because the birds are flying around? <laughs> and now she's not gonna to wanna to let me pick her up. So Emerald has that intelligence. She also has a certain amount of loyalty that I really like. In other words, she, she loves me. Now, she is a little bit of a one-person parrot. That means that she does like to fly onto my husband. Similar to, uh, you know, to a lot of parrots, not uncommon, she doesn't seem to like men. Sometimes a parrot doesn't like women, sometimes a parrot doesn't like men. It has nothing to do necessarily with their species or their gender. It just happens. I don't know if Emerald had a bad experience with a man. I, like, I don't exactly think so. But for whatever reason, Emerald really, um, my husband's not allowed to pick her up. Like I said, she can fly to him. So she's loyal. I mean, like, she wants to be here. She wants to be in this flock. She loves being on me. It's, it's a really interesting thing. Like, until you've experienced a pair being loyal to you, which Amazons can be too, it's just like... Um, it's hard to describe. I guess, you know what, it's sort of similar to a dog. You know that your dog is going to be looking to you no matter what. All right, what is the third thing that is a pro for Emerald? And what is it that makes her just like one of the best parrots you can have? I'm laughing because I just saw that red tail. Um... And that is, first of all, Emerald is a macaw. You know what, sweetie? Thank you. <laughs> so it's kind of cool that you can have the grandioseness, the, some of the gentle giant, some of the um, just incredible beauty and intelligence of a macaw in a smaller bird that is so easy to handle that's on my finger and I've got all sorts of photo bombers I've got all sorts of photo bombers today so what do I think makes Emerald one of the best parrots she has the some of the grace, some of the elegance, some of the grandeur of a macaw in her, 
but she fits on my finger. My macaws I have to put on my arm because they're happy. What makes Emerald such a wonderful parrot that I think she's one of the best parrots you could have? Well, if you have the time to dedicate to a parrot, this is a parrot that kind of has it all to offer you. She has all of the gifts of a larger parrot, the ability to, to talk well, to do tricks. <laughs> I have the gift of being a parrot magnet. Um, and I hope you like my new fashionable hat. It's all the rage, let me tell you. Um, just like all the gifts really of a larger parrot, the intelligence, the ability to really offer you that incredible companionship and incredible connection and bond. And yet she's such an easy size to handle. She's going to be economical in the sense that her diet's going to consist of those fresh vegetables, the pellets, and just one tablespoon of McComix. So even though she needs some nut fat in her diet, it's more like seed fat, and that makes her really economical. My macaws, for example, they just go through so much more. So I hope that helps you with the pros and cons. Would I recommend her? Yes. She's just too easy to live with, other than the noise given that she's just so manageable. Her size is just so manageable. You don't have to get a cage like this for her. You don't have to buy nuts by the bag. <laughs> but you do need to get a hearing aid. It's not that bad, but she can be, that was a little loud. And she's just off because it's like, we're being bombarded here. Thank you for joining me and letting me share my bliss. If you have any questions about parrots, I love hearing about what parrot you're thinking about getting or what you're experiencing with your parrot and helping you having more blissful bond because it's one of the sweetest gifts life has to offer. And these guys are one of the only animals that can talk and really engage with you. Thanks. I'll see you next time.